Hello everyone, Charmanzini here, and today I'm showing you how to set up an intrusion prevention system uh, using Untangle Firewall. Now, in order to do this, is a pretty straightforward setup. So the very first thing we're going to do is log into our uh, uh, Untangle management interface. So in my case, it's here. Okay, so once you've logged in, <coughs> on the left-hand side under the Untangle logo, there's certain features that we can install onto our Untangle rack. So we're going to install Intrusion Prevention. So you just click the one, one click, and then it'll download all the packages needed. And now, that was in real time, by the way. So, <clears throat> intrusion prevention is installed, but it's not active right now. Okay, so the very first thing you'll do is just click settings. And in settings, you'll see that the signatures have also been installed. We have a total of uh, 2,464 signatures uh, installed. And um, now, you can click on rules. And you can go ahead and uh, select the rules for you uh, that, that meet your needs. Uh, the basic rule set is pretty good in terms of uh, off the shelf. Uh, you can also create uh, <clears throat> you can also create rules your own your own rules. Uh, the the basic uh, the under part of this it's it's based off of Snort which is uh, an open source IPS so it's really uh, really powerful tool and it, was, and it gets updated uh, at the same time as Untangle gets updated so it's updated pretty regularly uh, this is Untangle 10.2 which is the NFGW so next uh, sorry NGFW next generation firewalls okay <clears throat> so if uh, if off the shelf this uh, if off the shelf this makes you happy so you have no other no other actions to perform here you can then click on event log and then event log will show you uh, you know what's gone on since this has uh, since this plugin was installed okay now we'll just click uh, out of here by clicking the X and then we'll enable the intrusion prevention system okay. so you click on the the start and then boom now the intrusion prevention system has been armed I already had this installed uh, I just removed it and uh, on my test bed and then reinstalled it for this video so if I click on reports I, I will actually be able to generate I'll show you how a report looks for this so the very first thing uh, like showed in my other video just click on settings to generate a report Okay, and then we'll be able to see which reports are are available so this was uh, <coughs> an intrusion this is how the reporting looks for the intrusion prevention system okay you'll see intrusion events summary report it's not it's actually showing blank for this one let me see if I can just pull something earlier than that so let's click on view okay if you click on choose your prevention this one okay. so I'm actually thinking that because I removed the plugin uh, some of the the data must not be there because uh, this is a pretty old report it's not it's not there but it usually is uh, <clears throat> I'll try to confirm that in uh, post that in the description of the video uh, so that's basically it on how to install an intrusion prevention system uh, plugin for your Untangle box, and uh, I plan on continuing, like I said, continuing uh, to create videos to help out to help you uh, install and properly configure Untangle. It's a very powerful firewall and very simple. If you have any comments or suggestions about any one of my videos, please leave a comment in the section in the comment section below. You can also visit my website, seanmancini.com. And uh, <clears throat> thanks for watching. Have a great day.